floating. Jerusalem? It's just like any other 3,000-year-old city that's sacred to three major religions. <laughs> the food is exactly like in any other place that has Mediterranean fusion flavors that you never knew existed. And just like everywhere else, there are endless soft white beaches with perfectly comfortable weather 300 days a year. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. I got hurt in a car accident. Why should I call the Law Brothers? Because when you're hurt, you need money. And we'll fight to get it for you. We got a client who injured their neck in a car accident, $350,000. Another client of ours suffered a bad head injury. We got them $6.25 million. Now those are the results I'm looking for. I'm calling the Law Brothers. Call us. We're, We're the, the Law Brothers. Brothers. Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. The Emmy for Best Evening Newscast, KTLA 5 News at 11. Now at 4, fallout continues from the historic collapse of two banks over the weekend with politicians pointing fingers and President Biden reassuring Americans that our nation's banking system is safe. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Samantha Cortese. The Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank failures are the second and third largest in U.S. history. Some concerned customers have been flooding to regional banks, fearing that their money is no longer safe. KTLA's Rachel Menetoff is live in Studio City with the latest. Rachel. Pedro and Sam, many people wanted to stop by their local bank, ask questions, talk to an expert. They told us they were initially concerned after hearing the news over the weekend about the bank collapse, but they've been reassured that they're able to withdraw money from their accounts and that it's business as usual. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and New York-based Signature Bank is sending shockwaves throughout the U.S. economy. What about it concerns you? That people will panic and... Um everybody will start, you know, pulling their money out. U.S. regulators closed SVB on Friday after depositors rushed to withdraw their funds all at once. The Wall Street Journal is exclusively reporting that regulators are now trying to auction the bank off after they were unable to find a buyer over the weekend. SVB is the second largest bank failure in our history behind the 2008 collapse of Washington Mutual. Customers at other small to medium-sized banks were spooked, especially those who have deposits exceeding the FDIC's 250 thousand dollar insurance limit. This was the line outside of the First Republic Bank branch in Brentwood this morning. People told us they considered moving their savings to a larger institution, not knowing the fate of the smaller ones. Meanwhile, First Republic Bank says it's bolstering its financial health by getting emergency funding from the Federal Reserve and additional funds from J.P. Morgan Chase. Faz Habib stopped by the Studio City branch to make sure everything was in order. There was news that everybody may not get their deposit back. And so that was a concern, but then the government came out over the weekend and said everything's fine. President Biden insisted today that the nation's banking system is safe and promised that small businesses who have accounts with either of these two failed banks will be able to pay their employees. No losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Instead, the money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance fund. Despite this reassurance, many bank stocks plummeted today. Professor James Reflo at Cal State LA says these two banks in question are very specialized and he doesn't think this problem will be widespread. I don't think the banking system on the whole, if you will, is has these investments, these risky investments in the tech firms, uh, not to the extent we're seeing with these individual banks. And coming up in the next hour at 5 o'clock, we speak more extensively with Professor Reflo about how to prevent this from happening in the future and how to best protect your assets. We're live in Studio City this afternoon. I'm Rachel Menetoff, KTLA 5 News. Thanks, Rachel, and we'll talk about that with Laz coming up in just a moment as well. The seasonal storm surge is not over just yet. Another round of rough weather is on the way, and people who live in the mountains are preparing for the worst. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Lake Arrowhead, where locals are upset the roads are reopened to the public while they're still working to dig themselves from the last storm. Shelby. Yes, yeah, San Pedro, you are absolutely right. They are still facing challenges, those residents, and so are businesses. And a perfect example of that is the business right over my shoulder here in Lake Arrowhead. The Lake Arrowhead Deli had to close after a, uh, a crack was found in one of their support beams. This is something that lots of people are dealing with up here, all these challenges. Now, we did speak with residents who say 
You know, some of them say that they're glad that the roads were opened, especially those who are traveling up and down the mountain for work. But then others say they're frustrated because it was just way too soon. And now with more rain on the way, that will complicate things. As of right now, every road leading to and from.